Thanks for coming, guys. Like you said, I'm from Ohio. Uh, in Ohio, yep, that noise. Um, we take sports too seriously. That's what we do in Ohio. Well, we do two things. We swing elections and we throw touchdowns. Um, in both situations, we're all just yelling, give it to the black guy, right? You guys <laughs> have seen sports. Uh, <laughs> No, it's like, it's like a real thing up there. I was in Cleveland not too long ago, and the MC announced where I was from. Before I said a word, someone in the audience yelled out, Boo! Go back to where you came from. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm going to need you to be more specific <laughs> about why you said that. And then he was like, oh, the bingles suck. And I was like, oh, good, I'm safe. OK, that's fine. <laughs> It's nice to know <laughs> they did at one point, you're right. We hold our athletes up too high. Uh, Cardell Jones, the quarterback for Ohio State that, that won the whole thing, he tweeted out uh, something along the lines of, I don't understand why I need to go to class. I'm here to play football. Classes are pointless. Uh, and people lost their minds. I like his honesty. I like to see him on a date. Some girl sits down and she's like, oh, hi, Cardell. Uh, what are some of your interests? And he's like, I am not here for interests. <laughs> I am here for sex. <laughs> interests are pointless. <laughs> now please help me read this menu. I think people are weird about race. Obviously, racism is real, but you don't need to bring it into every situation. I was dancing with this girl, and at one point she stops and goes, see, not bad for a white girl. I was unaware this was a competition. <laughs> I'm just trying to do weird stuff to you, and you're bringing it into a race war. Uh, she treats me like I walk into a club every day where I'm like, that girl can't dance, that guy can't drive, and he doesn't pay his taxes. I'm out of here. <laughs> just a racial judge. I th they, they bring it into relationships as, as, as well. If we have anybody here dating outside the race at any point in your life, you guys can understand this. You don't need to bring race into it. Just be two people having a good time. Uh, I was with a girl once that wasn't black, and I was in her mouth. Now. <laughs> I know that was sudden. <laughs> but it's very important to the story. I am in no way bragging. So we were having the best night of her life. <laughs> <laughs> and at one point she stops and goes, mmm, you taste like chocolate. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> because if I did, we would need to stop. <laughs> because I'd be very sick. That's, <laughs> that's not how humans taste. Uh, I understand that she was trying to give me a compliment, but the way she did it scared me because I eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> and so I worried that I might have diabetes and that's where it starts. <laughs> no, no. Take my feet, but not my meat, right? You guys can <laughs> get behind that. So it's a chant, you guys can have it. Uh, <laughs> I think we all need to treat each other better. I think it's unfair that uh, women are made to feel unattractive about things they can't help. Uh, like dudes are always like, periods are so gross. Periods are so gross. They're not, they're just things that happen. But they could be gross <laughs> if women handle themselves differently. Like if instead of using tampons, they just scooped it out and threw it. <laughs> this is happening to my body. <laughs> it's way grosser. Or if after they were done, instead of throwing the tampon away, they chase people around. <laughs> I'm gonna paint you like a house, come here. It's way grosser, so <coughs> shut up about it. <laughs> people are also pretty grossed out about anal sex. They, uh, they have some thoughts about that. They're always like, Spark, anal sex is so gross, you get poop on you. Just wanna state that that's not just what happens. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, <laughs> You don't start and then you stop. You're like, oh, I'm a different color now. That's not <laughs> what happens. Also, more importantly than that, poop washes off. It does, I promise. Uh, <laughs> right? Like, all of you have wiped before, and sometimes you miss. You don't freak out. You're not like, oh, I'm gay. That's not what you say. 
you just go to the sink and you wash it off and keep eating and texting like a normal person, so. <laughs> I'll leave you guys with this. I, uh, I went, I went to, to school, and in school I kind of thought everyone had the same rules and regulations, uh, but I found out quickly that they didn't. Uh, like, I brought, my, I brought a girl home, and my roommate, he didn't leave. He just kept playing Mario Kart and turned the volume up over us. <laughs> At first I thought that was weird, but I was like, you know what, Spark getting the character with this. So I was with the girl, I started going <laughs> I thought that would freak her out, but it didn't. When she was about to come, she was like, oh, here we go! <laughs> That's part two. You guys have been great.